after an actress broke her ankle when filming the 1979 film The China Syndrome, it eventually led to the invention of Pizza Hut's Cheesy Bites Pizza. How? One more time. After an actress broke her ankle when filming the 1979 film The China Syndrome, it eventually led to the invention of Pizza Hut's Cheesy Bites Pizza. How? I'm going to start us off here by saying I think that part of the reason the Cheesy Bites pizzas exist, stuffed crust pizzas exist, is because there's some in, immense tax break on dairy that's a hangover from the war in America. Something like that. Is that correct? I mean, no, but it's in the right-ish area. If that makes sense, you're absolutely Gosh. dead wrong on every single detail. But <laughs> but the vibes you're are in right. the right spot. <laughs> yeah, it's the right vibe. Exactly. It's tax. It's about tax and money and financial incentives. Was she supposed to be the actress in something else, and she broke her ankle so she couldn't be in it, and that affected that made someone invent the cheesy bites pizza? I'm, 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 there's a big leap in there, but <laughs> I mean, it <laughs> it was less about her not being able to be in something else and more about what she went on to do after breaking her ankle. She invented the Cheesy Bites pizza. Well done, Luke. You got... No. no. I did it. <laughs> okay, this isn't like... I, I, I'm going to drill down on what this pizza is, first of all. This is like having a tear and share extra bit around the mm -hmm. pizza. It's not like they've just stuffed the crust. They've got a whole rip off the crust here and it gives you something that could have been cooked separately, but it's... Food innovation from the 80s, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that the pizza itself isn't all that important to this. I mean, it might be easier if you know who the actress is. So she was in 9 to 5 on the Golden Pond, or on Golden Pond, and Barbarella. Three films I have never seen. <laughs> <laughs> is that Dolly Parton? No, at nine to five, you would think Dolly Parton, but it's not, yeah. it's not Dolly Parton. All right, you've got three men looking on with <laughs> no idea of film knowledge here. Yeah. Yeah, look, you call yourself a filmmaker. Uh, yeah. So she needed help before she was okay to work again. That's kind of key there. She had to eat loads of cheese to rebuild her bones because of the calcium in the cheese. <laughs> the calcium. And she That's thought, how, how do I works? get more cheese out of this pizza? <laughs> And so she invented, the, like I said, she invented the, the Cheesy Bites pizza. I think our question writer might be hoping that one of us can identify the actress from that clue. And I feel like we're kind of dancing around in the dark here. In the early 80s, she became famous for something else. And that's quite important. If you're going into the cheese, she's not really super related to the cheese. Well, she sort of had to be helped in a wheelchair or something by somebody else. So she was helped by someone else. It wasn't a wheelchair. It was more about sort of rehabilitation after she'd hurt herself. If that helps. Who was the physio? I don't have I don't have the name <laughs> of the physio here. <laughs> but but you won't know the name of the physio. You'll know the name of the actress who's actually very famous for something else in the 80s that's related to what the physio helped her with. Okay, did she, um, did she, for example, do lo loads of exercise videos? Was she one of those like people who sold exercise DVDs? Spot on, absolutely. So she sold exercise oh. DVDs. Uh, well, video, VHS is back oh, then. Uh, VHS, yes. <laughs> VHS. Yeah. So God, she sold who, was this, who was that really famous lady? Oh, that's so annoying. Pamela Anderson? Not Pamela Anderson. Okay, no. yeah. Not Olivia Newton-John, is it? <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I feel like that's closer. But it's also not correct. <laughs> not Olivia Newton. I'm just naming names from the 80s in my head now, like Gloria yeah. Estefan. That's not right. She's a musician. Um, Her surname sounds like a like a car brand. If that helps, Bugatti, I guess. Lamborghini, Ford, uh, Betty Ford. Ford, Betty Ford, who set up the <laughs> clinics. But no, she was <laughs> not an actress. Sandra Toyota. It, it, when I say sounds, it rhymes with a car brand. <laughs> Sandra Bloyota, famous exercise <laughs> woman. Oh, God, give us some initials or something. So her initials are JF. Jane Jennifer Fonda. Fox. Oh, Jane, Jane Fonda. Fonda. Exactly. Oh, okay. We got there. We got there. All right. So you've got the, it's Jane Fonda and her exercise videos. 
How does that then relate to Pizza Hut stuff? <laughs> was she oh doing like a, a goop thing where she was saying that cheese is really good for you, actually? It's kind of the opposite of that, actually. So she was saying cheese is very bad for you. So that sort of gave it great press. So yeah, it is, it is, about, the, it is about the price of cheese and her sort of <gasps> advertisements for certain dairy products. Oh my products. god, okay, so she said that cheese is awful for you, which crashed the price of cheese. And cheese became really cheap, and then Domino's were like, hey, the cheese is really cheap, let's give everyone more cheese. <laughs> no, so you're spot on, it is actually about economics. So what happened was, Jane Fonda broke her ankle, and then she had sort of physiotherapy for that, and she got really into exercise, she made these exercise videos. And in that, she was sort of saying, you know, uh, go for semi-skimmed milk, be healthier. And so people started going for semi-skimmed milk. And then what do you do with the rest of the milk that has been uh, skimmed? You make mm. cheese. And so suddenly there was a lot of really cheap cheese. And then Pizza Hut bought up that cheese and put it into their stuffed crust. So Jane Fonda breaking her ankle indirectly resulted in the invention of Pizza Hut's stuffed crust. 